Hello and welcome to another video of Breaking Bad English with me, David. The UK credibility interview. Do you know what that is? Many people need to have an interview with a university in the UK to assess whether they are suitable and that they have a full intention in order to complete the course that they wish to attend at university in the UK. Now, the actual interview has two parts to it. The first part is to check your level of English, but the second part is to ensure that you as the applicant really are interested in completing the course. The government in the UK and therefore universities don't want people to arrive in the UK with the pretense that they are going to attend a university course and then after a few months look for work and find a, work and find a job and stay in the UK. So the idea of this interview is to really ensure that you have thought very carefully about going to university in the UK and you have made the necessary, let's say, inquiries about how you will live in the UK. Now, the interview is often conducted online these days via Skype or Microsoft Teams um, because obviously people find it difficult to travel to the UK to have the interview. But uh, uh, not every country uh, nationality needs to have this interview, but some do. Now, um, there is a procedure, they will ask you questions online, uh, which will take maybe 30 to 40 minutes, and you need to answer those questions in a truthful and full way. Do not give short answers or evasive answers which are not precise, because they will not be happy with that, and they will probably not issue with you with an offer at university. So, um, <clears throat> what do you need to do? First of all, avoid generic answers. Be specific in your answers. Uh, understand the program content. So, the course you wish to study will have information online and you should fully understand what the course entails what you need to study, what you will study, what you will learn, how long it will take, etc. Avoid discussing dual intentions. Don't say that uh, you're looking for a job also in the UK. Uh, the intention here is that you only are looking to study in the UK. Uh, communicate course motivation. Give a good reason why you want to study this course. And explain how you will support yourself financially and that's very important. Obviously the university needs to know that you have enough money available to continue through the course to its completion. Okay, so typical questions in the interview are as follows. The first one could be something like, could you please provide a brief about yourself. So a little bit of background about yourself. Okay, so you can explain where you come from, uh, what your hobbies are, something about your family, your home life, etc. And also including your education. Second question, why do you want to study in the UK rather than your home country or another country? And here you need to be specific. Don't just say, because I think the UK is a nice place. You need to say something like, the UK has a long reputation in providing top class education in the field of, say, engineering. And Sheffield University is recognised in the top 100 universities in the world to study engineering. Okay, so that explains very nicely why you want to study at Sheffield University in the UK. Then they might say, why this specific university 
over other options. And again, uh, you can say the reasons I mentioned before, or say that each campus offers high technology, high spec facilities, which aid students to fulfill their study program and complete it successfully. You can also say, for example, I believe that Sheffield is a very interesting part of Britain and nearby there are lots of hiking possibilities, which in fact is one of my hobbies. Okay, so they will then go on. Next question could be something like, uh, what is the location of the university? So I'm taking Sheffield as an example here. You should say, Sheffield University is in Sheffield, which is a city in Yorkshire. It is a safe and affordable city, and the residents of the city are very used to students living there. Okay. Next question. What are the course modules? So you ne now need to do some research before you answer a question like that. But you could say for engineering, for example, interdisci interdisciplinary design, uh, introduction to electrical engineering and thermofluids, etc. But it's up to you to research that information. Another question could be, how many credits are required to complete a bachelor's or master's degree? And let's say we're talking about a bachelor's degree. Uh, and the answer to that, again, you can find it on the website. The answer could be, say, 300 units. Uh, who will fund your studies? Now, you should be prepared for this question. You should say, for example, my parents are both professional architects in Pakistan, and they will be funding me throughout my term at university. Okay, or maybe you could say, um, I've recently received an inheritance from my grandmother and I'm going to use that money to pay for my time through university. Um, yeah, they will also ask you to estimate what your living expenses will be. And you may not know this, but I can roughly say that living expenses in the UK for, for a university student is about £1,200 uh, per month, maybe, something like that, 1000 to 1500 a month, uh, which is you know, something like £12,000 per year plus. So it's not a small amount of money, but you must know that. Uh, the next question could be, what is the annual income of your parents? So again, you need to be specific here. And you can say, for example, uh, the annual income of my parents, as I said, who are both professionals, is equivalent to £50,000 a year. Okay? And you could add, and they are prepared to pay for my studies. Uh, um... What will you do after completing your studies in the UK? And be careful on this question. You need to say, well, my intention and my plan is to return to my home country and take up a position in an engineering firm, uh, uh, which I have worked in previously. And the company is willing to offer me a job if I receive a degree in the UK. Okay. Uh, another question could be, um, do you have any previous visa refusals? No, I can't answer that. Maybe you have, and if you have had, you have to state the reason for it. And really the final question could be something like, what are the facilities of the university and what is the university ranking? So again, you can research this information online. And if we're talking about uh, Sheffield University, as I mentioned earlier, it ranked in the top 100 universities in the world, in fact. So, yes, okay, 
Avoid generic answers. Be very specific in your answers, which means you need to prepare them in advance before the interview. Speak slowly and clearly. If you do not ask, understand a question, ask the interviewer to repeat the question. And if you still don't understand the question, ask them to say it in a different way. Okay, that's all you can do. But don't fumble your way through the interview and uh, give answers which are not relevant to the question. Be very careful about that. <clears throat> so that's information about the exam or the interview, I should say, online. It will take, I'm not sure, 15 to 20 minutes maybe. It depends how detailed your answers are. They will obviously ask you information at the beginning about your personal circumstances now and information about who you are in order that they can identify that you are actually the person who is applying that they are speaking to. So I hope that you found that useful but if you have any more questions about this please write to me below this video and I'll be happy to answer them. Just remember this thing you are going to the UK to study with the ultimate aim of returning to your original home country, your native country, to take up a profession in that country. It is not for you to come to the UK and find a job in the UK. Okay, Not during or after your course. It does not bar you from say doing a part-time job in the UK to help support yourself financially but it certainly is not good if your intention is to go to the UK on a student visa and then find a full-time job working in the UK. That is what they want to avoid. And that is what you must prove to the interviewer is not your intention. Do you understand me? Yes. So I hope that you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and recommend my videos to your friends. And I look forward to seeing you again on another video of Breaking Bad English with me, David. I will see you again very soon. Goodbye.